This is 3-3, translating words to expressions or equations. This is the notes. Um, I'm going to go over two things that you're going to have to recognize what they are, and that is you're going to have to determine whether something is an algebraic expression or an algebraic equation. So an, we're going to talk about English. An algebraic ex, uh, expression, incomplete sentence. Okay, so when I say three more than y, that is a algebraic exp expression. If, and that's in words, and if I do three times x plus five, that is an expression. Those are examples of expressions. Now an equation has an equal sign. So you're going to look for is most of the time. Usually they'll have other words. And so if you write 3 plus x equals 7, that's an algebraic equation. Um, if you do 9 times x plus 2 equals 11 because of that equal sign, that is an algebraic equation. Okay, so those are your examples. Um, we're going to go into word problems, and so you're going to um, need to know what words signify which phrases. So on um, keys, words, and phrases, addition, added to, plus, sum of, more than, increased by, total, and. Put a star on this one. This one's going to cause you the most problem. Okay, so for subtraction, it's subtracted from, minus, difference of, less than, decreased by, fewer than, take away. Uh, less than is going to give you an issue. Uh, multiplication is multiplied by, times, product, of, twice, and just the word of. Um, this, you're going to just have to pay attention. Uh, division divided by quotient. This is the word that gets people because they forget that that is, means division. And then equal is is. Okay, words of caution. I'm going to fight you the entire time. And uh, this is going to cause you the most issues the entire unit when you are translating. It's the word then. That, uh, it's the word to watch out for. I am going to have you circle the word then. I am going to have you circle the word then. And then it means to send the phrase to the back. Always circle it. From also means send the phrase to the back. You don't see from as much. So three less than x. I'm going to circle it. The phrase that comes before it gets thrown to the back. So if I am going to write that, that is x minus 3. Because the less is minus, this is x minus 3. That is the phrase. 8 from y, you circle it, you throw that to the back, you start with the y, m minus 8. And that is the phrase. Sum of indicates two things are going to appear next. Put a parenthesis around the two things. The sum of 8 and 10, so you underline sum of, you put 8 and 10 in parentheses multiplied by x. So sum means add, and then you're multiplying it by x, and that x, x can actually come out front. That's actually how it would be done. Product of does the same thing. Indicates two things are going to appear next. Put parentheses around the two things. The product of 4 and 5 added to 7. This is not 5 added to 7. It's the product of 4 and 5 added to 7. So it's 4 times 5. Then you add the 7. Uh, translating is going to take a little bit of getting used to. You're going to have to look for keywords and translate every little piece of it.